With the mole's murder of Shintani, the police begin to suspect Yagami and subpoena him. The cases of both past and present become a volatile mix at the ADDC. At one point, the land it sits on had been the target of a redevelopment scheme. And behind that plan, the Kansai-based construction company, the Kajihira Group, and its chairman, Shigeru Kajihira. Uh, that old man is the person responsible for all 10,000 employees in the Kajihira group. Shigeru Kajihira. So he's the guy. You're familiar with Hattori-san here, yes? He's told me a great deal about you, Yagami-san. Me? He even clued me in on the perfect way to get inside your head. You better not be talking about Mafia Chan. As I understand it, you two are practically family. The young lady is quite fond of you, you know. I take it you're the one who gave Shioya the order to kidnap her then? <laughs> I wanted to see what you were capable of. Huh? Now that I know, the Curé clan will leave you alone. I can guarantee that. Let me guess. There's a condition? There's something I'd like you to do. A job only a detective can handle. Here we go. A year ago, I set in motion a plan to redevelop a massive plot of land owned by the Ministry of Health. Yeah, I know. Hattori-san's article told me as much. <laughs> Sharp. Our plan was to take over the entire medical institute. That's enough land there for three or four Kamurochos. So I struck a deal with Minister Kazami and bought up the surrounding properties for next to nothing. All that remained was closing down the ADDC and the other arms of the institute. But I don't have enough time on this planet to wait for that to just happen naturally. So I turned to a man named Hashki. Here's a shot of the man. At the time, Hoshki was the vice director of the ADDC. But tempting him to join me was easy enough. But soon we were working together to sabotage the center. Sabotage? Yes. He drove out the ADDC's most promising talent and sold their cutting-edge research to rival labs. He performed his part admirably. Sounds like a real douchebag, if you ask me. So, you're saying you bought off a government official? Yes, and it was easy. But then, just as the ADDC was on its last legs, something breathed life back into it. Which was? AD-9. Mr. Kazumi did a complete 180. He took Kido's side and vowed to keep the center open. That drug... Ruined the whole damn operation. And where's Hashiki now? Dead. What? He was beaten to death some six months ago. Somebody murdered the vice director of the ADDC? They're still not sure who was responsible. The cops wrote it off as a drunken brawl, and that was the end of it. Yagami-san, I want you to investigate Hashiki's death. I have reason to believe it was premeditated. What makes you think that? You sound pretty sure. He was suspicious of AD-9. Thought it was all a hoax. A hoax? But why? Just when we started talking about closing the center, along came this revolutionary new drug to save the day. The timing was too convenient. That's what Hashki thought, at least. He was sure that there was more to AD-9 that met the eye. So he did some digging, and not long after, he was murdered. Are you saying Director Kido bumped him off? It's a pretty serious accusation. 
If that were the case, I'd still be able to shutter the center. The redevelopment project would begin anew, and all my investments would finally turn a profit. But as of right now, I'm a hundred billion in the red. That's a lot of money! I can't leave that large an investment on the table. No wonder you're so hung up. The ADDC is hiding something. I'm sure of it. And that lawyer, Shintani, was close to figuring out what. At least until he got his eyes gouged out. Things are not all they seem to be at the ADDC. And if that's the case, you must want to know the truth too, Yagami-san. That's why I came to you. There's nobody else I could ask to do this. Hattori-san. Mafuyu almost got kidnapped thanks to you. Anything you want to say? Chairman Kajihira pretty much kidnapped me, too. Going after your girl wasn't my idea. I was just looking out for myself. Still feels like you owe us an apology. <sighs> that guy's the fucking worst. Hey, shouldn't we roll out of here? Our friend's just about waking up. Good point. Let's go. Yeah, name's Hushki. Used to be vice director of the ADDC. Mm-hmm. Murdered in Kamurocho six months ago. Sorry to spring this on you, Hoshino. Think you could get all that for me by tomorrow? Okay, thanks. Well, looks like that's it for today. See you at Genda's tomorrow? Sounds good. Night, boys. Yagami-san. What's up, Sugira? I was just thinking, teaming up with you was the right call. Should make some progress on my investigation, now that Kajihira himself is out in the open. I wouldn't have saved Mafuyu without you, either. Thanks again. No prob. Let me know if anything else comes up. ありがとうございました。
waste. Hey, good stuff. Back to it. 
ありがとうございましたWe. guys.
All right. Got it. Yagami san. There you are, Tuck. Kaito-san, you're here early. Early bird nabs the murderer, yeah? Hoshino-kun dug up some dirt on Hoshiki. I heard the Kyore clan attacked Mafiu last night. You already talked to her? Yeah. She seemed... happy. Probably because you came to the rescue. Yagami-san. Is Genda-sensei still out of commission? No, he'll be here this afternoon. 
He didn't sound very energetic when we spoke, though. Gotcha. Anyway, back to what you asked me last night. I looked into Hashki's murder. Hold up. I want to hear this, too. Toru Hashiki, former vice director of the ADDC. 51 years old at the time of his death six months ago. Found lying face down in a Kamarocho back alley in the middle of the night. He was unconscious, horribly beaten. He died in the hospital three weeks later. It took the hat long? Yes. Apparently he was comatose the entire time. Were there any witnesses? Not to the crime itself, no. However, quite a few people saw Hoshki in a drunken argument beforehand. With a man in a black raincoat. And that's all we know about the culprit. A black raincoat? As far as I can tell, the police never found him, but who knows how hard they looked, right? And, well, that's all I could find. Little more than a general overview. Thanks, Hoshino-kun. This is great for now. Kajihira claimed Hashiki's murder was premeditated, yes? Huh? Yeah, that's right. But there's no evidence to support it whatsoever. Yeah, I was thinking the same thing. If the culprit intended to kill Hashiki, wouldn't he have finished the job? Seems kind of sloppy. On the other hand, if it was just an unfortunate run-in, the circumstances would make more sense. I don't know. I think it's the other way around. Huh? If you ask me, whoever killed Hoshki was a freaking pro. What makes you say that? Yes, do tell. Just look at the end result. Hoshki died and whoever's responsible got away with it. Now imagine if the cops found him dead in that alley. That alone would be cause for investigation. If he's just unconscious, though, it's easier to just call it a street brawl and move on. I mean, that's just another day in Kamurocho, right? True enough. I suppose the incident never made the news because his death didn't come until so much later. Despite how well known he was in the scientific community, that is. So the killer beat Hoshki until he sustained a fatal wound, then backed off? Is such a thing even possible? It is if you're a pro. <laughs> Guys, that could totally exist. It's just rare to see it happen. Know what I mean? I admit it would make sense, but we can't say for sure without evidence. More or less. What kind of evidence do you mean? Something like an investigation report. I want to know the cause of death. Which I guess means another visit to our old friend Ayabe, huh? I'm way ahead of you. Called him myself last night, but... Uh... But what? His hands are tied because of all this Kuroiwa business. <laughs> Should have known. We got someone else coming in his place, though. Meeting at the same place as before. Lamont. You're gonna come, right? Sure. Let's do it. Looks like we got some company. Mm-hmm. Hold up. These guys are Matsugane. Weird. I don't think they're too happy with us. Oh, yeah? Well, what gave it away? Maybe they think we're working with the Kyore clan. Either way, it doesn't look like they want to talk it over.
Come on, Doc. Let's get out of here. <sighs> right. Got it. All we gotta do now is meet up with Ayabe's boy. Any idea what he looks like? Nope. Bet he'll talk to us first, though. Let's hope so. Well, time to start looking. <laughs> 